And another problem for the city. Try to move the homeless out of one area in New Orleans and they'll often wind up still homeless someplace else. That's the fear from business owners tonight. About a month ago, the city cleared a homeless encampment on Chapatulis near the convention center. Now, Treme business owners say they know where a lot of those people went. WGN's Jordan Lippincott has a look at what's happening. Jordan. Kurt, Susie, there's still a row of occupied tents right under the bridge on Claiborne, just right across the street from a business which has lost customers because of it. In November, crews with the city of New Orleans cleared out the homeless encampment on Chapatula Street under the Pontchartrain Expressway. A month later, the area remains clear, but some who work and live in Treme say the nearby encampment on North Claiborne Avenue under the I-10 bridge has increased in size. It's more congested out here now, there are more people. Uh, we're seeing more, more activities with the homeless people here. Louis Charbonnet, who owns Charbonnet Labatt Funeral Home, can't escape the homeless encampment because it's just right across the street from him. Charbonnet says the growing encampment has had a negative impact on his business. I've lost a few, few funeral services because of the conditions of the people out here. Um, it's just a topic that everybody discusses in this neighborhood. You know, why, why this? This is the oldest African-American community in the city of New Orleans. Why is this? This is a neighborhood. With the Chapatulis encampment already cleared, Charbonnet isn't sure if the Claiborne one is next on the list. They're not doing anything to benefit the communities, the local people. They're doing things to benefit the, the commercial areas, but not the residential area. And this is the areas that are suffering. The city said clearing Chapatulis was just phase one of the plan to address homelessness in the city, but Charbonnet says he and his neighbors are tired of waiting. Am I still going to be here? I've been here since 1883. Is my business still going to be here next year? I can't say. The city has says they plan on housing 1,500 people by the end of 2025. Nathaniel Fields, who leads the city's homeless services department, is out of town, but we're hoping to hear from him next week. Susie Kurt, really tough situation. Thanks, Jordan.